There has been a lot of focus on the southern border connecting Mexico to the United States. But the U.S.-Canadian border to the north is the longest international boundary in the entire world, and we're home to its busiest crossing. That's why our Coco McAvoy gained exclusive access to see exactly how our own border is secured. Good afternoon. This map here really says it all. Our border along Canada is 5,500 miles long, and along Mexico, it's 1,900. There's a lot more ground to protect here, and the threats are just as real. Agent Douglas Muse's shift is taking off for the day. All right, we're on the go. You can see the bird's eye perspective that we have up here. It's, it's amazing. And it needs to be. He serves as a lookout for the Customs and Border Protection Agency. Well, there's a lot of multitasking going on, that's for sure. Listening to radios, you know, talking on the radios, flying the aircraft, paying attention to, you know, the targets that are on the water. That's why technology is key. His helicopter is equipped with a mapping system and an infrared camera for day and night surveillance. We can watch people from five miles away with this camera. They're not going to know we're there, or they're not going to hear us, they're not going to see us. Muse takes us over a notorious spot near Grosseal, known for smuggling drugs, weapons, and even people. So this is the area that they call the hole in the wall, and there's a lot of suspicious activity that happens down here, uh, as well as known smuggling cases. We look for human trafficking, human smuggling, narcotics, um, contraband that comes into our area from other places. Back on the ground, Border Patrol agents begin by gearing up, ready to face whatever they encounter on patrol. We get paid to be kind of nosy, so not, I go around and, uh, you know, investigate. It looks funny to me. Agent Timothy Earl takes us to a hot spot in Corktown. Well, right here, this is the international, uh, the tunnel's international entry into the country. Agents know smugglers kind of take the here. tunnel to get from Windsor to there, our country. There. So they have a long walk to come along here before they get out of here. And then what they can do is they can go hit straight to the, the Greyhound bus station or whatever and go anywhere they want to go. So a lot of times this is ran by organized smuggling groups. In Detroit, agents use Mother Nature to their advantage. We've got 863 miles of water border, so we use that uh, to kind of give us space to react to illegal activity. There's a lot to look at and a lot of border. All patrolled from the land, sea, and sky. We live next to the busiest commercial crossing along the northern border, the Ambassador Bridge. I take you inside field operations to see how they keep us safe tonight at 11. I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4.